Hey guys, it's Jarek the Gaming Dragon doing some more Black Ops gameplay. I know, I know, I already uploaded gameplay of Hotel before, but I went into Black Ops after that, wanted to have a good game on either Stockpile or Convoy, and pretty much the first game I went into threw me into Hotel, and I had a pretty good game here, so now I'm uploading it. Alright, so the very beginning of this match started pretty bad. You know, I shoot this guy about, you know, three bursts into his face, somehow he doesn't die. And then my teammate just kind of walks around the corner casually, and oh hey look, there's an enemy, let me shoot him once and take your kill like an asshole. So, you know, because, just, just because fuck you, that's how I work. Oh, I love it when that happens. And then I turn the corner, immediately get another assist. Frickin' teammate, just go die, stop stealing my kills. And then the next thing that happens, you'll never guess. Oh, you guessed, I got knifed in the face. Yeah. If I had to choose any 30 second clip to sum up Black Ops, that would be it right there assists and random bullshit deaths like that, and that is the reason why I'll never describe Call of Duty as one of the better multiplayer games. I like balance, not a lot of bullshit. Anyway, I believe I die one more time before I finally start getting a, uh, a good game going on here. Now, I'm running around back here, which I hadn't really done uh, before, at least not on that side of the map. I'm still kind of new to the maps, obviously. They just came out yesterday, and I uh, just started playing them for the first time today. And, uh, lucky, luckily I saw that claymore there. I just saw the red. I didn't even know it was a claymore. I just kind of was looking at it like, what the hell is that? And then looked, and oh, it was a claymore. Backed up in time. Didn't even hurt me. Now there, I wanted to run around and flank this guy, but I forgot how long it takes to run all the way around. And you'll never guess where he's hiding. You'll, you'd never really get this. This is total shocker to you. Wait, not a shocker? He was hiding in a corner? What a surprise! Ugh, you, you just gotta love people that play Black Ops. I hate corner campers so fucking much. And there's my first kill of the game. The very first one. Two minutes in, finally get a kill. Jesus. Anyway. So the gun I'm using is a uh, Galil with a reflex sight. And I think it, it just, it's weird. Some guns work better with reflex sights, and some guns work better with a red dot. I, I don't know what it is, but I just like the Galil more with a reflex, even though technically, stat-wise, they do the same thing. But it seems some guns get more recoil when you put a reflex sight on them. It makes no sense whatsoever. Now here I take out uh, quite a few people in this room. Or at least take, I've already taken out a few people, and now I'm taking more out in here. He flashed me, so I decided to flash him back. That totally didn't sound wrong. And he's shooting through the doorway, so I didn't want to step into his bullets until he turned, and then I killed him and killed his teammate that was hiding behind him that wasn't flashed. Now here I just noticed 28 bullets. Okay, he has a Galil, I'm going to pick it up. And uh, he has a high cap mag and a suppressor, which is sweet. So uh, just p basically picked up another gun with things that are almost better. I, I don't want Warlord perk because I don't want to get rid of second er, second hand. <laughs> Slide of hand. <laughs> Why am I saying second hand? You know what I'm trying to say though. I don't want to get rid of that. Now here, I would have been so mad if this guy killed me. So it's just corner camping, and I'm lighting his ass up, and he turns and shoots me a few times. It almost manages to kill me. So then I decided to sit back and let the fruit juice roll off my eyeballs. And uh, I don't think I see anyone for a little bit of a while, not until I go forward a bit, not until I get into this room. There's the first person I see, and seven kill streaks, so I just need three more to get uh, attack dogs. So I'm trying not to die, and uh, you can see the lag in this game. So I shoot him quite a lot. He puts me in the second chance, and I'm not shooting anymore as I'm falling into second chance. And then he falls into second chance after I fall into second chance, even though I'm not even shooting him. So thanks, Black Ops. Luckily, I had someone run up and revive me so that that didn't get me BS killed like everything else does in this game. And uh, I just need two more kills to get attack dogs. And now I just need one more. And also, I'm lucky I picked up this Falmos, which has a... Uh... Oh, and I'm also lucky my teammate was there because he showed me there was an enemy behind me and he would have killed me. But sweet, there we go. There's the attack dogs. It's taking a while for it to show up because I just got so much shit there. And there we go, attack dogs. So I step back, use my attack dogs, step back and use my B-52, and then step back and use my helicopter. Look how many people I get with this B-52. I just put it on a random spot in the map. But watch this. One, two, three, four, five. I just got five people with that B-52, and then I killed someone with my attack dog. I just killed their whole fucking team with a few kill streaks. That's how ridiculous it was. And the game was, I, it was close to tied before I did that. And, um... It, the game starts to lag immediately as soon as I do it too, but um, God, that that was just ridiculous. That was pretty fun. That's not too easy to do on this map because it's such a wide open map. It's hard to be able to get that many people with one B-52. Then I got lucky that guy didn't knife me, and uh, I tried to knife him a little bit too late. That was a really late response to him. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well here. Uh, I started to warm up, like I said, after I got those BS deaths out of the way. Um, I started playing a little bit better.
No, I'm just confused on what happened. I think my teammate killed the the enemy, and I think they killed each other at the same time. I'm not even sure what happened. I'm, I'm just playing confused. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to understand Black Ops. It doesn't work. That elevator always confuses the hell out of me, because I think it's a, uh, a door that leads all the way through the building, so I always run into it and I'm like, wait a minute, it's a trap, this is a dead end. <laughs> and I'm like, oh wait, this is an elevator, I'm stupid. I do really like I picked up this guy's FAMOS, and I have a shit ton of ammo for it too, that's a sweet thing. I think I killed the same guy like a million times, kept picking up ammo from him. <laughs> it, it makes it better that I have sleight of hand and dual mags, um, so that's pretty sweet. But we're up here, I believe I get another kill somehow through those boxes. The bullets are way overpowered in this game. Like, some things there's no way uh, bullets would be able to pass through. They can just pass through them easily. I mean, bullets lose momentum when they hit solid fucking two feet deep concrete walls. They don't just keep going with no momentum slowed at all. Now here, I'm looking on the uh, the spy plane just trying to find this guy, and there he is. What a surprise! He's corner camping. That totally surprises the hell out of me. And then I see one behind me, and he threw a flashbang in there, so I decided to throw one in there as well. And um, they both disappeared on the map, so I'm not sure what happened to him. But I noticed my teammate died, so I turned around and killed that guy, and I uh, decided to keep going. And then I think from here on out, I pretty much was just staying on this side of the wall, this side of the building, because it's a, it's a very good place to stay, and that guy shooting at me was in my party. <laughs> I almost got killed, I just saved his ass. Um, but yeah, I pretty much stayed on this side of the wall from now on. Because uh, it's a very good place to stay. You just run back and forth here, and uh, I mean, it's almost like corner camping, but, you know, not as much of a douchey move. And people constantly always run through here, so you get a lot of kills just running back and forth. And uh, when you're using a FAMOS, it's even easier. Go away, gay fox. Describes 90% of the furry fandom, right as I said that. And if you're about to start flaming me, I am a fur, so shut up. I can say whatever the hell I want about the fandom. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be anything negative, that was a joke. So yeah, immediately, as soon as I deviated from where I was going, I just went back to that side of the building again. And I thought someone threw a grenade at me, but apparently it was upstairs, and since, you know, shockwaves apparently travel through walls... Yeah, they just send stuff everywhere. How many times have you had that happen? Where uh, a grenade is blown up like on the wall next to you and like a bucket flies by your face and you're like, what the hell's going on? And you start freaking out. <laughs> and in all reality, your teammate already killed the enemy and uh, there's no one near you. And I'm still, I'm still going. You know, after I got my attack dogs, I didn't die. So my kill streak's going pretty high at this point. I think I got... I don't. You guys can count it yourself. I would guess probably 18 kill streak without dying. Now here, this annoyed the hell out of me. I think it's right here. Uh, but what I did is I saw someone start shooting at him. Someone started calling me on Skype, so I let go of my controller. So you see, I don't turn here. I let go of my controller to hang up on him, and someone shoots me in the side that I was going to turn and look anyway. So thanks, fucking whoever my friend was that called me. Thanks for getting me killed, you asshole. And then immediately after that when I spawn, oh, I get killed by a claymore. So I just died twice because of that fucking call. Which really does piss me off. I could have kept going and gotten two less deaths and a lot more kills. Uh, but no, my freaking dick friend had to go and call me and interrupt my game. If you, don't, if you guys don't get my setup, um, I'm dual screening on my computer. And I have my 360 running through my main LCD through my HDMI port. And then I have my computer running through my VGA port. So I just switch over to my VGA, and then I keep all my messengers on my second screen so that, you know, I can see it when people message me while I'm in-game. But when I'm doing an online game, I don't want people to bother me. So I'll put it as my status in-game, and uh, people will still message me and whatever. Which is annoying as hell. So yeah, this got me killed as I'm getting hung up on the... I was trying to walk sideways forever, like, why can't I walk? Oh, there's a couch in my way. Ha. Ah, I feel stupid. Okay, so I think the game is coming up to an end here. 30 seconds left. I don't think I got another kill for the end of the match. Not sure if I did or if I didn't. I wish I did, though, because I believe my final score ended up being 29 kills. If I would have gotten one more kill, I could have got 30 kills. And it's like, it's not like it's, you know, a huge improvement, but 30 looks a lot better than 29, and it also feels better, if you know what I mean. Wow, that sounded really bad. <laughs> 
So we're going up here. I saw someone run into that room out of the corner of my eye, and it just ended up being my teammate, so I shot at him a few times. And that went darker for a second because the 360 decided, you're not doing anything but watching a video, so we're going to make it fade out like an asshole. Thanks, 360. I need to turn that off. That's really annoying. Anyway, there you go. You see, 29 and 4. I probably would have done a lot better if my asshole friend didn't end up calling me on Skype and interrupting my game. Um, but... Regardless, it's a pretty good game, 29-4, nothing absolutely amazing besides the two assists right at the very beginning, within 30 seconds of each other. Uh, but there you go, more hotel gameplay. Like I said before, the Escalation map pack is definitely worth buying. It's a lot better than the first strike map pack. And um, yeah, there's more gameplay on hotel, and I'll see you guys later.